Today, I'm going to read to you a speech that has changed my life. Not right away, not groundbreaking immediately, but nonetheless, has had a major impact on the way that I make content, on the way that I work, on the way that I live. It was given in 1910 by a gentleman named Teddy Roosevelt, or Theodore Roosevelt, at Sorbonne, Paris, sorry if I pronounced that wrong, on April 23rd. I highly doubt at the time that he knew that his speech would last for 114 years, that it would touch someone's life in a completely different field, but it did. I'm going to read the speech to you today. I'm going to share why it hit me so hard and why and how it might impact you as well. It is not the critic who counts, not the man who points out how the strong man stumbles or where the doer of deeds could have done better. The credit belongs to the man who is actually in the arena, whose face is marred by dust and sweat and blood, who strives valiantly, who errs and comes up short again and again, because there is no effort without error or shortcoming, but who knows the great enthusiasms, the great devotions, who spends himself in a worthy cause, who at the best knows, in the end, the triumph of high achievement, and who at the worst, if he fails, at least he fails while daring greatly, so that his place shall never be with those cold and timid souls who never knew neither victory nor defeat. When I started this YouTube channel, I was extremely insecure. So insecure, in fact, that if someone would comment a negative comment on a video, I would delete it. I would delete the video, not the comment. I couldn't handle reproach or criticism of any kind. I took it as a direct insult on who I was as a person. Keyboard warriors took me down easily. It wasn't until I dealt with some serious traumas in my life that I started to conquer those issues. But also, it was the reading of this speech that really cemented it in my brain, so much so that it hangs up in my office at work. So I've kind of touched on how this poem has affected me. Let's talk about how it could impact you. If you're a YouTuber, if you're going to work in a field where people will criticize you, which fun fact, people are going to criticize you. If you're going to do anything worthwhile besides sit at home and hide, people are going to criticize you. It's going to happen. I think especially for content creators, you're entering an arena. Is it as valiant as 1910? I don't, I don't know, a different kind of arena. But you're gonna get, you're gonna get crapped on. You're gonna have people hate you for no reason. I get weirdly angry comments about Trump. I don't make political content. I just happen to be a white guy who wears a camouflage hat, and I'll get comments saying he looks like a Trump supporter. Okay. What does that even mean? And why does that even matter? Like on this video right here, if that comment happens, I'll probably laugh because it'll be like a good joke, but you have to step into the arena. And when you do, people will question you. And if you can get past that questioning in a healthy way, accepting their criticism and moving on, that's where, that's where true confidence is found. You know who you are so strongly that no one could convince you otherwise. You know what you're supposed to be doing so strongly that the views, the subscribers, Nothing matters except for the fact that you are, you have to make content. You have to put yourself out there. You have to be in the arena that you know who you are so strongly that waking up for work the next day is exciting because you know, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm entering back in. And there are times when you're exhausted and there are times when you are ready to quit, but you don't quit because you know, this is what you're supposed to be doing. When you find that, my friend, you will enter the arena and you will find so much satisfaction in life. It is not easy. It is not easy putting yourself out there. But once you do, you start to live. I spent the first chunk of my life not living, hiding from any sort of criticism, trying to please everyone. And I mean everyone. I was, I, I am a people pleaser to the bone. You guilt trip me and you're going to get what you wanted. You ask me to do something, I'm going to say yes, even if I don't want to. It's just in my blood. When I entered the arena, especially YouTube, it made me tough it up. It took me six years to get there. And here I am. My channel is actually doing well. You'll notice that I post two to three videos a week. I have no issue uploading anymore. I have no self-doubt even when I'm criticized. I don't worry about what people think. And I don't spend time reading negative comments over and over again, crafting the perfect response or wondering if I should delete the video. I just move on. I live my life. So enter the arena, my friend and find out what it's like to either be someone who at best knows in the end the triumph of high achievement, or at worst, when he fails, at least he or she fails while daring greatly. Because I failed before. And when you have failure pursuing a large goal, it doesn't hurt as bad as failure pursuing a small one. You will fail in life. Why not fail at something you love instead of failing at something you hate? Don't live your life in such a way that you know neither victory nor defeat. Live your life in such a way that you're exhausted but satisfied.